Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Chandra Prophet and today I'm taking you along with me as I host a virtual event. Now during the pandemic, my event planning business, Cali Girl Events, has had to take major pivots. And one of my pivots was learning how to offer beautiful virtual experiences. So today I'm showing you how to do a quick DIY backdrop to add a little flavor to your next virtual event. Let's go. Here are the supplies that you'll need. A large poster board, also a small poster board. You'll need duct tape, scissors, and a hole puncher. And don't forget that you would need a low temperature glue gun. Low temperature, not high. Don't forget your glue sticks. Also, you'll need any type of ribbon or ties and you'll also need some paint stirrers to reinforce your board. You can't forget your balloons. Now I'm using multiple size balloons, seven inch, nine inch, and 12 inch. Make sure the balloons that you use are good quality because that definitely makes a difference. To blow up the balloons, I'm using my handy dandy electric balloon pump. This is one of my favorite things. Now to start, I divide all of my balloons into their different colors and sizes. This is what I call pre-gaming. Pre-gaming is when I blow up a chunk of the balloons before I go to my event so that I don't have to do a lot on site but it also helps for cases like this where I grabbed a bunch of dark balloons thinking that they were black and they ended up being purple and gray. <laughs> and so doing it at home and realizing that is better than doing it out. Now that I have all my pre-gaming balloons blown up, I'm going to throw them into a couple of large size trash bags to travel with me to my event. All right, we're here, let's get it going. Now the space that I'm putting the backdrop in ranges about five foot wide, five foot tall. So I'm going to make sure that my board is at least five feet across and we can finagle with the height of it because it's for a virtual experience so it doesn't have to be super tall. It just has to be able to fit in the frame of the computer. Now because my board wasn't as long as 60 inches, I had to add the smaller board to it. And that's where you see the, the duct tape. Then I used the paint sticks to reinforce the backs of it so it didn't bend and wasn't flimsy. Now that I'm on site, I'm going to blow up all of the bigger balloons. These are the 12 inch balloons. After I have everything blown up, now it's time to assemble. And this is the easy part. Literally throw them on there however you want. No rhyme, no reason. Just get them on there. Just a big tip, make sure that the ends of your balloons are all facing inside so that the only thing that we can see from the outside is the beautiful actual balloon.
now that you got your base finished with all of the big balloons, it's time to grab that bag of the pre-gaming balloon and start filling in the holes. These are all your 9 and 7 inch balloons. Once I get a bulk of the balloons on there, I stand it up normally so that I can see from a different standpoint and make sure that I'm filling all the holes. Now if you don't have poles to actually hang your backdrop to, you can easily get some command strips and hang those onto the wall and then just literally hang it onto your, onto your wall. You don't have to have the stands. That's what the hole punch is for. The hole punch is so that you can hole punch two little holes on either side of your backdrop and you can string the string through so that you can hang it wherever. And there you have it, a beautiful backdrop for your next virtual event. For birthdays, anniversaries, baby showers, wedding showers, you name it. This is Chandra Prophet. Thank you so much for joining me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.